one reaction with Levy, and like we do every week, we're going to break down the NFL Week 9 this week. Some good games. We love the Carolina-Kansas City game. I went 2-1 in my big three in my lock of the week. Carolina hit, so I'm very happy about that. Atlanta also won the Vegas Charger game. I, Chargers just are the most unlucky team in football. It's ridiculous. I should have been 3-0 again. But great week. I'm happy with the 2-1. Let's dive right into it after that. Saints Saints really played a great game. Bucks, good showing on Sunday night. All right, let's dive into it. Packers, Niners. Packers won 34-17, the game we expected. Packers seem like they're the same team, and they're going to beat these bad teams. I can't keep up with them offensively. But when you get to the Russell Wilsons, the Patrick Mahomes, the Tom Brady's, I think they're going to struggle. And that, that's why I don't see them as a Super Bowl contender right now. 49ers look to be out of the playoff picture with the, all those injuries. Broncos, 27, Falcons, 34. Falcons, I say it again, too bad to be good, too good to be bad, right? They're, they're that middle 9-7. and seven. They should have traded some pieces. They didn't. Broncos, I didn't buy into them after beating the Chargers, as you see. The, the Chargers are the most unlucky team. Broncos shouldn't have won that game last week. They got outplayed. I don't think Drew Locke's that good, uh, but he did man, manage another comeback. They just lost their uh, second string tight end that was really working and they didn't have no Fant, so some stuff working in Denver. But is Drew Locke the guy? I don't know yet. We're going to have to see. Seahawks 34, Bills 44. This was the bounce-back game for the Bills. Kind of reminded me of that Rams game, uh, that 1 p.m. Rams game. Bills show up at home. They, they, they struggled the past couple games. They played some pretty good defense. Like they played the Jets, the Patriots, divisional games. But then they played a bad defense. Allen and company really lit up, which was a good sign for Buffalo fans. Uh I still have concern about running the football. I like Zach Moss a little bit. Started him in fantasy. Got really lucky with that touchdown. But I, Buffalo, I still have concerns with. Seattle, they'll be okay. I think they're still, to me right now, I think they're my favorite in the NFC. Russell Wilson, th- this defense will, will correct itself. Everyone's selling the stock on the defense. Carlos Dunlap's first game. Jamal Adams first game back. I think they'll get better. They didn't have Shaquille Griffin either, their top corner. So I think they'll be better as the year goes on. I think Pete Carroll, too good of a defensive coach to let this team be this bad. And they also played a really good offense with Josh Allen. Ravens, 24, Colts, 10. Rivers is holding back this team, so they're a fringe playoff team, wild card. I don't think they're winning the division. Ravens, can I see more from Lamar Jackson? Does he work? I still have concerns. This team is so talented on the defensive side, and they didn't even get a receiver on the offense, so that uh, leads me to concern. I feel like the only way they win is when they control the goal, control the clock. I don't know if they can win the other way. I don't. I don't know. So we'll see as the year goes on. Texans 27, Jags 25, two awful teams. I, Texans, I just don't understand. they got to get a better coach and some playmakers uh, on the defensive end. La, uh, Panthers 31, Chiefs 33, as I said. Lock of the week. Uh, Panthers plus 10. It was it hit. I mean, you're never going to – a good QB coach on the road ruling Bridgewater off a loss and a long longer week. I think they're going to perform – Still, I'm going to make this claim right now, even though the Chiefs struggled a little bit in this game. I think they're the best team in football by a landslide right now. You look, quarterback, best, one of the best in football. they got the best weapons. They've got a better defense. They're great against the pass. The only way you beat them is if you run on them. And the, only, the best running team in the league, the Ravens, they lost by 20. So I think the, the Chiefs are uh, by far and away the best team in football, especially with Pittsburgh performance this week. Lions 20, Vikings 34. I mean, results are as expected here. I said the Vikings were going to go on a run. Here we go. That's two straight wins. They got an easy schedule coming up too. Lions, they had a tough week, so I'm going to I'm gonna wait to judge because Stafford was out all week. Weird game. Uh, Bears 17, Titans 24. Bears don't have an offense. Hold them back. The defense is just terrible. Is it time to bring in Trubisky? I mean, this is a question that has been posed in the media. I think you bring him in as a guy like a Taysom Hill type of player who's so athletic and just add another explosive man of this offense. Allen Robinson feels like he's on an island and not doing anything. He's too good of a talent at wide receiver. He might leave this year because of this the way this Bears offense is working, and he's our best weapon. Giants, 23, Washington football team, 20. Better every week. They finally closed out a game. Can the Giants maybe make a run right here and maybe get back into the NFC East picture? Guess who they play next week? Next week, the Philadelphia Eagles at home. If they win that game, they're all of a sudden have the same number of wins as Philly. I mean, just, just take a look at this. Washington, to me, they're not good at all. I don't think they're capable of winning division. Dallas, we know what they are. I think it's between the Giants and the Eagles, and the Giants almost beat them on Thursday night last week if Ingram dropped that ball. 
if Ingram doesn't drop that ball, we win, uh, the Giants win that game. So let's keep an eye on this Giant team. I love. I think they have the best coaching staff in the division. Jason Garrett has called much better games. Daniel Jones doesn't make mistakes, and this defense continues to play like this. Watch out for this Giant football team. They're pretty good Ra- uh, for the NFC East, of course. Raiders 31, Chargers 26. I don't know what to say about the Chargers anymore. And that's all I got. Raiders sneakily a good uh, playoff team right now. They're playing some really good football. That offense is explosive. Dolphins 34, Cardinals 31. What was that play call by Cliff Kingsbury on third down? Is he holding back the potential of this team? Kyler Murray looks like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFC. And they feel like a top team in the NFC right now with all the struggles uh, Tampa Bay had. And I, I'm not still I'm still not sold on New Orleans even though they're a big win. So is Arizona a team that can compete, especially with Seattle's defense struggling? They beat them. So let's look at Arizona a little bit more. Miami, Miami and Buffalo is going to be shape up to be a really good race. A lot of people on Miami this week. Buffalo bounced back against uh, Seattle, so we'll see what happens there. That should be a very good race in the in the AFC East. No New England anymore. It feels pretty good. Pittsburgh twenty four, Dallas nineteen. Classic Big Ben Mike Tomlin game showing up on the road struggling. They just don't. They're undefeated. They, they, to me, looking at them, watching them, the eye test. I'm still not sold on this football team. They lose Devin Bush. I don't trust their running game all that much right now. Yes, Juju and uh, Claypool are good, but let's just watch out for this Pittsburgh team. Yes, they might have an easy schedule with Dallas. Just, I, I still don't think they're on the level of Kansas City right now. And I'm, I'm going to argue that I, I see a couple teams ahead of them right now, even though they're 8 now. Saints, 38, Bucks 3. I, I don't know. That was the biggest surprise. I had the Bucks. I mean, come on. It's Bucks. It's, the coaching is terrible. Peyton out coached Arians. That's how, that's why they won. I mean, they, they had a genius game plan, but now we got to start saying. I said it a couple weeks ago. Now the Saints look pretty good, and then we we all sold their stock because they didn't have Thomas and Sanders, including me. But now you you, you had Thomas, you had Sanders. Where's the weakness? The defense is insane. They let they held Bucks with three of the best wide receivers in football. Granted, it, Godwin was off an injury, and uh, Brown was in his first game, but they held them to three points. So let's take a look at this New Orleans Saints team, who's now 6-2 and two, and now probably will win that NFC South and possibly be the number one seed in the NFC. Tonight, we've got the Patriots versus the Jets, two awful teams, and I don't care about the game because those te- teams are awful. Uh, it's weird to say it about the Patriots, but they should win, I guess. I had the Jets in my bold prediction to win because I thought they're two bad teams, but Darnold's not playing, so I'm going to lean Patriots, but... 10? I don't know if it's 10 points. I don't know. So, that's uh, all for Week 9. One reaction with Levy. Week 9, we got more stuff coming out later this week.